Hey friends, that one was for you, Charm. You know it, you know it, girl. Um, welcome to day 63, I believe? 62, 63, 60-something. 60 Again, I can't keep track of all this shit. I should be able to, but it slips my mind sometimes. It's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, everyone. I wasn't sure what song I wanted to do today, and I went back and forth between a few of them. And ultimately, I decided to do something easy, something I love, something that I enjoy. So we're going to do California Stars for you today. I love this song. I don't know if any of you have ever heard this song before. This is uh, an interesting story behind the song, and I'll go through it very briefly, very quickly. It's a Woody Guthrie song, but also it's kind of not. Um, I love Woody Guthrie. Woody Guthrie is a fucking awesome dude, idol of mine. Obviously, he's a big influence for Bob Dylan. Ipso facto, he's a big influence for me. I love Woody, uh, one of Oklahoma's favorite sons, born in Okima back in the day. I'm an Okie, born and bred, so I have to fucking love Woody Guthrie, guys. I gotta love Woody Guthrie. Um... Named after Woodrow Wilson, good old President Wilson, who was a total racist asshole, by the way. We're just going to throw that one out there. So, not great, you know. And supposedly, Woody's dad was also a member of the KKK, potentially. Um, but Woody was not. Woody was not a racist asshole. <laughs> so, thank God for that. Um, anyway, leaving that a little bit. Woody obviously became a great, you know, folk singer, a great political activist of sorts, definitely on the left-leaning side, potential communist ties, right? Uh, he became big in the Dust Bowl kind of ballads. He, you know, moved to California, sang songs, did all that whole Grapes of Wrath type shit, right? I guess he became friends with John Steinbeck even. So there's a connection there, right? Good times. Uh, and Woody recorded all sorts of music, obviously. Big one, This Land is Your Land, right? Uh, a great fucking tune right there. And then, years later, unfortunately, Woody became sick. He, his family was very, his mom, I think, her side of the family had suffered from Huntington's disease, which is kind of, you know, attacks the brain. It's kind of like Parkinson's, sort of. Except maybe worse. I, don't, I think it's a lot worse. And, uh, unfortunately, Woody became ill later in his life, in the later 50s, I think. By the 60s, he was certain, certainly in the hospital. I think he couldn't talk so much. He couldn't move very well. But he had all of this music that he'd written long ago. All these lyrics, all these notes. He didn't really write music, but he wrote the lyrics. He was a great writer. Lyric writer. Lyricist, I should say, right? And obviously, Bob Dylan, I guess, visited him, you know, in the hospital. It's a classic Dylan story, you know. He went and visited him in the hospital and played him tunes and stuff. And Woody was like, eh, okay. You know, little did he know, he was basically ta passing the torch of folk music. Ah, good stuff. But anyway, so Woody had all this old music and lyrics that he'd written to these songs that he'd had, you know, for years and years, and he'd stashed them in these notebooks and these boxes and shit, and his family had de dealt with them. The story goes that Bob Dylan tried to get, or that Woody had promised some of these to Bob, and Bob tried to claim them, and then Woody's ex-wife was like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Don't even, you know, go away, come back. And I supposedly Woody's son, Arlo Guthrie, who became a musician in his own right. You might have heard of him. He was like, he he didn't know anything about the music or he would have given it to Bob. Anyway, flash forward years and years and years later, Bob's, or Woody's ex-wife is dead. Woody has long been dead by this point. It's the 90s. One of Woody's daughters, Nora, I believe... Uh, found all this old music that her father had written, and she wanted it out in the world because, you know, Woody was a great man of the world, kind of, uh, all about injustices and all that kind of shit. Perfect for today's world, right? <laughs> you know. Anyway, 
So she gives the, a bunch of these this old music to uh, a an English kind of folk kind of activist kind of musician, whatever, Billy Bragg, that some of you might have heard of. I'd never really heard of him before this, before I got into this, right? Um, so Billy took these songs and he was like, wow, these are great. You know, I'm going to rewrite them or not really rewrite them, but I'm going to take the lyrics and put music to them. And he... I guess is hanging out and wanted Wilco to join him. So he gave some of the songs to Wilco and he and Wilco recorded an album. They called it Mermaid Avenue, which was where Woody stayed towards the end of his life or in New York. I think it's a New York street in New York or something where uh, Woody was staying before he got sick and had to go to the hospital and all that. And I think that's where he wrote a lot of these tunes, something to that effect. So. California Stars is one of those tunes. And I honestly, I think it's the best one from the album. I thought there's some great ones. Uh, Billy kind of took the more political tunes, whereas Wilco took the more not as political <laughs> tunes, I guess. And that's probably why I like them better. And I just like Wilco. I think they're a great band. And they took the, in my opinion, the better tunes. And California Stars is... 100% the best song on the album, unless you think so differently if you've ever listened to it. I don't know, you know, whatever. But, God, I just fucking love this song. It's just a fucking great, feel-good, kind of relaxing song, and the Wilco version is very, like, feels like you're, like, hanging out on Hawaii, like, on the beach. Like, they got this kind of, you know, pedal steel guitar just playing little licks here and there, and it's just so relaxing and nice, and... I really fucking love this tune, guys, so I hope you all enjoy it, too. This is one of my favorite songs of all time, I think. I just, I dig it so much, man. So I'm going to take a drink, and we're going to get to it. Yeah, it's going to be good. I'm excited. Love this shit. God, I love this shit. So here we go. California Stars. <laughs> to rest my heavy head tonight on a bed of California stars I'd like to lay my weary bones tonight on a bed of California stars I love to feel your hand touching mine and tell me why I must keep working on yes I give my life to lay my head tonight on a bed California stars I like to dream my troubles are away on the bed of California stars jump up on my star bed and make another day California stars, they hang like grapes on vines that shine and warm a lover's glass like a friendly wine. So I give my world just to dream a dream with you on our bed. California stars. Dream. My troubles are away on a bed. 
California stars and jump up on my star bed and make another day underneath my California stars they hang like grapes on vines that shine and warm a lover's glass like a friendly wine so I give this world just a dream a dream with you on all the California stars California stars. Woody Guthrie, California stars. I guess Billy Bragg and Wilco also. Um, yeah, I love that. Isn't that such a great fucking song? Feels good. God, I love Woody Guthrie. Fucking love Woody Guthrie. <sighs> Man, good times. They built a uh, Woody Guthrie museum. Like, they got all the Woody Guthrie archives and shit, and they built a museum in Tulsa. And uh, it's fucking awesome. If you're ever in Tulsa, go check it out. Obviously, we have a lot of uh, pretty bad uh, racial stuff with the Tulsa Race Massacre a hundred years ago, you know. But slowly the city is healing, coming together. Um, Woody would be proud, I think. I think Woody would be proud of that. So, go support Tulsa. I love Tulsa. It's a great city. I fucking love it. It's where I live, so, you know, whatever. Of course, I could do, with all the, do without all the fucking right-wing nut jobs, but, uh, you know... What do you get? What do you expect? You know. Anyway, thank you all for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed my rendition of California Stars. I will be back tomorrow with something new, of course. Uh, man, I've got some good ones coming down the pipe here, guys. I'm having trouble deciding what I want to do because, oh, I got something good yesterday that I am thinking of. I got something good this morning. I think we're going to have a pretty fucking fun weekend, you know. Man, I don't know. There's just so good. There's some good ones coming up here, guys. I'm really excited about. So make sure you tune in every fucking day for new quarantines. And uh, yeah, stay gold. Keep the fire, y'all. I'll see you then.